Hello gamers! In my last video, we tested and reviewed the Acer Nitro Intel ARC B580 Battlemage graphics card. Overall, it performed well, especially at 1440p resolution. However, the B580's impressive performance depends heavily on pairing it with a fast, modern CPU. High-performance gaming CPUs, like the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D or 9800X 3D, are not cheap which can nullify the card's value proposition for budget-conscious buyers. Some viewers suggested that I should test the card with a lower-end CPU. Unfortunately, I don't have a Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, or an Intel equivalent. However, while going through my older hardware, I found an MSI Z490 godlike motherboard, paired with an Intel Core i7-10700K processor. This system also includes 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory running at 4,000 mega transfers per second. The Core i7-10700K was released in 2020, making it nearly a five-year-old CPU. While opinions may vary on whether this qualifies as an old CPU or system, benchmark reviews show that the 10700K performs only about 2-3% to slower than the Ryzen 5 5600 in gaming performance. I haven't updated this motherboard's BIOS yet, so it doesn't support resizable bar or rebar for short. First. I will test the ARC B580 without rebar to highlight how much its performance is impacted. Then, I'll update the motherboard's BIOS, enable rebar, and compare the results to determine if there's any performance improvement. And without further delay, here are the benchmark results. At 1080p, the Intel ARC B580 clearly struggles without rebar and when paired with an older CPU. Its performance dropped by an average of 46%, highlighting how much it relies on rebar and modern hardware. Enabling rebar significantly improved the B580's performance, reducing the performance loss to about 15% on average, though it still didn't reach optimal levels. While it's expected to see a performance drop when the B580 is paired with an older CPU and lacks rebar, the 1% lows are even worse than the average FPS. In some games, such as Forza Horizon 5, The Witcher 3, and Watch Dogs Legion, the 1% lows dip to single-digit FPS, with other titles falling below 30 FPS, resulting in a poor gaming experience. At 1440p resolution, the Intel Arc B580, paired with the Ryzen 9 9900X, averaged 69 FPS. However, when paired with the Core i7-10700K, Performance dropped to an average of 62 FPS, a 10% decrease. Disabling rebar further reduced performance by about 42%, bringing the average down to 40 frames per second. While it's technically possible to use the Intel Arc B580 with an older system or processor, enabling rebar is essential for acceptable performance. Older systems that don't support rebar are not ideal for this GPU. In fact, Installing modern GPUs on outdated systems is generally not recommended, as it often leads to subpar performance and compatibility issues. So, will you be getting an Intel Arc B580 soon? Or are you more interested in NVIDIA's RTX 50 series GPUs? Let me know in the comment section below. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I have something exciting coming your way in the next few days, so stay tuned.